Hey parents, hey grandparents, hey kids, if you're watching this, I do miss you guys. Hope you're doing well. Hope this video finds you doing well. So this video will be the second kids challenge for us for this week. I posted a video yesterday talking about our first challenge, which was to take household, common household items. I gave examples of cans from the pantry, your coffee table, Legos, other toys to build a tower. And so the first challenge is to build a tower as tall as you can. I need a measurement and I need a picture and I post the height and the picture in the comments below the video that was uploaded yesterday. That's our first kids challenge. And in that challenge, the devotion opportunity for you parents and you grandparents is to talk about the story of the Tower of Babel. I gave some sample or optional questions you could ask, but I would just encourage you to take on that family challenge. It'll be fun and it'll also be a chance for you to invest in your children and grandchildren from a devotion standpoint and build their faith talking about the Tower of Babel in Genesis chapter 11. <coughs> Today's challenge, second challenge, Kids challenge number two. I have a friend named Mark Woodside. Mark has led worship for, me, worship for me for many years. Very good friend. I'm friends with him and his wife. His brother, Michael, Michael Woodside, is an animator for Disney. And Michael has been posting videos on his YouTube channel on how to draw some of the more famous, some of the more recognizable characters such as Mickey Mouse and Pooh and Stitch, <coughs> excuse me. And so kids challenge number two is this. I would love for you to go to Michael Woodside, go to his YouTube channel. He is posting videos, they're an hour or a little less on how to draw these characters. And so I would love for you children, with the help of your parents or you parents or grandparents may wanna do this as well, to draw your favorite Disney character, favorite cartoon character that he's given you tutorials on how to do. And I would love to see you take a picture of that piece of paper where you've drawn that, post it in the comments on this video right here, and so I can see your creative side. I think it'd be really fun, just something that you as a family can do together, parents, grandparents, you can help your children to draw one of those characters such as Mickey Mouse or Pooh or Stitch. <coughs> oh, off. Michael is, uh, work, has, has been working on Frozen, so he did a lot of the drawing in the movie in the frozen series of movies and goodness knows caleb and leo watch frozen and frozen 2 at our house all the time i think i can sing i will spare you but i think i can sing every song every word to every song in frozen and frozen 2 because we watch them that much and it's really neat to see michael's name scroll at the credits at the end and so <clears throat> he's got a youtube channel you can you can look at him on facebook he's got i think it's woodside animation don't quote me on that I believe that's his website, but go to the YouTube channel of Michael Woodside. Look at the links he's given on how to draw Olaf, Stitch, Pooh, Mickey Mouse. <coughs> Excuse me. Take and draw those. Take me a picture, put it in the comments below, and we can see who is the most creative and artistic out of our group. I think that'll be fun. And in the meantime, parents and grandparents, I would love for you to take this opportunity to talk about the creativity of God. You can talk about the creativity in Genesis chapter one when God did not have a tutorial video. He did not have a sketch. He did not have something to look at to help him create, but just the creative nature of God that spoke the world into existence. And you can use that the chance to talk about God creating, uh, creating what we know as the earth, creation, the sea, the land, the animals, and also you can talk about how much beauty and value God sees in us because in Genesis chapter 1, I believe 26, 27, it talks about we're the pinnacle of his creation, created in his image. And so not necessarily devotion questions for this challenge, but I think it would be really, really great if you could take on the challenge of drawing your cartoon character and also discussing with your children and grandchildren the wonderful creative nature of God. That in the beginning God created. He spoke into existence and ultimately we are his children created in his image. And you can even if you so choose to go on to what happened and how creation was tainted with sin in Genesis chapter 3 because Genesis 1 and 2 talk about the creation of, of earth and of man. And Genesis 3 leads into the fall of man and sin entering, sin entering into the world. And if God leads you, if the Holy Spirit prompts you, you can use that as a discussion or a pathway to talk about Easter. And that's what I hope 
ends up with this challenge is not just cartoon characters being drawn, not just talking about Genesis 1 God created, but us getting to the Easter story. God created, man sinned, and God is full on into the process of restoring mankind to himself through Jesus Christ. Hope this video finds you doing well. I'll post this and look for another challenge, another mission opportunity to be posted on Friday. Love you guys.